All right, people, welcome back. Today is not my favorite day. We have run out of things to do on the Lexus, partly because we don't have the parts to do the things we need to do, and partly because um, we're lazy. So we are deciding to tackle quite a big task, and that is getting the wastegate exhaust to function the way we need it to. Currently, the way it, the wastegate is mounted in the car, as soon as we put this on, it hits the frame of the car like immediately. So we need to make this a lot sharper of an angle and we don't have like a pipe bending machine or the ability to do this correctly at all. So the way we're gonna do this is, <sighs> Shaw, you come tell him, I can't fucking. The wastegate piping like Mason showed you. If you're looking at it, this is gonna be the passenger side and this is the driver's side it immediately hits the frame, like Mace was saying. So we're gonna have to do a massive series of like pie cuts or something to that, you know, type of uh, modification to basically make this bend like this, like going out almost immediately. It's going to take probably forever, but we gotta do it. This is what it is. Alrighty, so this is what we're starting out with. Humble beginnings, but uh, we will soon be murdering it into something that's completely unrecognizable, hence Shaw with the angle grinder there. The angle right here is not sharp enough. It is too shallow of an angle for what we need it to do. So we're gonna pie cut it a billion different places, re-weld it a billion different places. This is made out of stainless steel, so we had to get some stainless steel wire. We had to get some stainless steel wire to weld this. This is gonna go poorly, I know already, because every time we weld it goes poorly, but that's okay. Shaw's got a design ready in his brain, I guess. I don't know, I'm not really a part of this because I'm doing other things. I've got at least three Sharpie marks, which is at least an hour of thinking. We've been thinking long enough, now it's time to start doing, so we're just gonna attack it with an angle grinder and pray. Yep. So now that the first cut has been made, we've got several, several, several more of them. And we're gonna make all the cuts before we test fit it at all even a little bit. Because the whole measure twice, cut once thing doesn't really apply here. Don't need it, because we're doing it, which means that we're gonna measure once and cut a lot. I'm always right. That's right. So uh, we're gonna make a lot of pie cuts in this piece and I don't feel like filming at all, so, boom! Okay, so, it's been many hours of, of painstaking work, but uh, we finally got it done. It only took a couple cuts. It didn't take really as much as I thought it was gonna take. I thought it was gonna be like a thousand cuts. The way it turned out, we had to make, you know, only a couple adjustments. It really wasn't that bad, but all in all, not too bad. Not, not too bad. bad. Not too bad. I was expecting literally a thousand cuts. So, yeah. I you know, ended up doing it at about like five, so yeah. not too bad at all. It just vents basically right where like the bell housing meets the transmission, just kind of vents into that area. Yeah, let's go ahead and install it and take a look at exactly where it sits. I have discovered that installing this is damn near impossible. Basically, I'm having to install it with one bolt already in because I can't really get an Allen key behind it because it's basically the pipe's right in front of it. Then I have to also hold this gasket at the same time while holding the actual wastegate pipe while trying to basically tighten it, but I can only get one hand down there at the same time. So, <laughs> do, you, do you want me to hold one end from one side while you screw it in from the other? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. cool. Just hold it from the bottom, so and I, I can probably manage from the top. I gotta put the camera down then. Yeah, yeah, Alrighty, so you can't quite see it because it's buried way down under there, but it's all done. It's all done, Shaw says, as he emerges from the shadows. Yes. How's it feel, bud? It's been weighing on our shoulders for months because this was looking to be such a pain in the ass, but it actually wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that bad. We cranked it out in like five hours yeah. total. Not Nicely that bad. Nicely done, friend. Yeah, you. Boom, that's another video wrapped. This one was actually pretty short, so uh, I think the next one, I don't know what the next one's gonna be. It's just gonna kind of depend. We'll but, figure uh, it out. We'll figure it out, yeah. It's gonna be something. Cars, car won't be running in it. You can know that for sure, <laughs> but... <It's> pretty definite. <laughs> but one day. <laughs> one day, one day. Not too far from now. We will see you in the next one.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna start filming. Look at so all be quiet. these fucking anodized colors you can you, get them in. Be quiet. All right, that's pretty fucking cool. That is so cool. Those are, those are also expensive. No, they're free. It has no price attached. The colors are free. The colors are free. They're forty six hundred dollar bricks. No, they're twelve seventy. Oh, for real? What? Yeah, they're twelve hundred seventy dollars. Oh, that's that's not solid. even that bad. All right, shut up and let me film this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, film it. Go film away. It, film it. I dare you. Go I away. Fucking from me. dare. No, <laughs> also. Just god damn it! It's not gonna get any it's better. Doo doo on it. Yes, I know. Just let me film. Boom! <laughs>